Moin, wir stehen hier gerade vor der Stadthalle in Lübeck und wir hatten eben die Möglichkeit, den Film Transmemoria von der schwedischen Filmregisseurin Victoria Verso zu sehen. Der Film war auf jeden Fall sehr, sehr berührend und hat uns alle sehr emotional zurückgelassen. Zum Glück hatten wir nach dem Film noch die Möglichkeit, die Filmregisseurin und gleichzeitig auch Protagonistin des Films, Victoria Verso, zu interviewen. Das Interview seht ihr dann gleich. Victoria, you grew up in Sweden and you also work internationally. Um, what role does Swedish culture and society play in your understanding of gender identity and uh, its representation in your work? Oh, I don't know really. But I think that Sweden has been quite accepting towards the people like me. Uh, but not really when I grew up so much. But it's quite a good uh, country to live in to mm -hmm. when you're going through something like this. Uh, I think that's a, the question I, uh, the answer I have for it. Okay. Yeah. And what challenges do you face in producing a movie about a topic like trans identity? Well, it's of course a very charged uh, topic, and uh, it's not been easy to make it. Um, but I felt I just needed to be very honest and true to what I've been through, um, but n also to sort of. Um, highlight the 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 um, thoughts that uh, the, the other people in the film have, Athena and Amina. Mm -hmm. And there's as many trans stories as there are trans people. So uh, I think that uh, it's Im it was important to get all these different per perspectives in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Understandable, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Which filmmakers or artists have inspired you maybe during the film? Are there any specific works or people you have particularly shaped your own view of art and identity maybe? Well, I think it's a mixture of filmmakers and artists. Uh, it's a little bit of many different inspirations, but I think a big one is uh, I was I was an intern when I was younger on a film by Ruben Ostlund mm -hmm. and uh, his cinematographer at the time, Marius de, de Bad Brandrud, His uh, cinematography is amazing, and I think that was a big inspiration uh, for the more static uh, shots. But then I wanted to mix it up with um, document very shaky digital camera documentary material from 2012. So it has all these different time layers to it, mm -hmm. and I wanted to sort of dare to make a film that uh, sort of has this bit uh, different expressions in it to mix form formats and uh, styles mm -hmm. and then I think of course uh, Andrea Arnold is a big in inspiration but not so much visible in this film mm -hmm. but I love her work <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so talking about film aesthetics um, we recognize that many of your films and artworks are characterized by a specific with the aesthetic. For example, um, when Amina was sitting in the car, there was the reddish pink light on her and she looked like she almost meditated somehow. Um, how do you use color, light or other visual elements to express the inner emotions of your characters? I think in this film it was very important, like from the start I wrote little texts about the different environments that I remember. And I think it was important for me to sort of um, have these very bleak colors of the day when, when it's very warm and hot, but not really show that Thailand that you usually see, but more from my perspective, my, my emotional uh, feeling about this place, like this, the hotel, the tidal land and the hospital, and uh, almost like a dream that I had dreamt where there was no people in these environments. And then I think these day shots, I wanted to contrast with uh, the, the very pitch dark night with all these neon uh, lights. And neon is also a material I have in many of my sculptures. So I've, I'm very in love with neon <laughs> light. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, in what way has dealing with trans identity tape shaped your own artistic expression. Do you also see art as a way to expand or transform the understanding of identity? Oh, can you ask, uh, take that question again? I have to follow, sorry. Um, in what way has dealing with trans identity shaped your own artistic expression? Do you also see art as a way to expand or transform the understanding of identity? 
Yeah, I think art can expand a lot of things where it's like another kind of language beyond the spoken language mm. that uh, I think is very important for for the for cultures, for democracy and everything. Uh, so I think uh, there are unlimited possibilities in art and uh, it's something very important in my life. Um, and I, of course, connected somehow to the transition. I don't know how, but it's like a feeling I have that it's uh, uh, it's intertwined very closely with my artistic practice. Mm. Yeah. We saw that the film is very emotional. And for me personally, I felt like I would cry sometimes in the film. Um, and we all know it takes a courage to present such an intimate topic in public. Um, how do you manage to maintain a balance between personal openness and artistic ambition? And what role does the boundary between fiction and autobiographical truth play in your film? Well, as I said in the Q&A, I think I'm very ambivalent about telling these very personal stories. It's not all, always obvious for me to do it. So it's different days. I'm like, uh, one day it feels totally okay and just of course I should do this. Mm -hmm. And other times I'm like, what have I done? I have, my integrity is too uh, big. And I think, I don't know how I navigate there really, but I think what I feel in the end, need, the film needed to be as honest and authentic as possible. Um, so I felt it had to be worth it somehow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Today you're in Germany here, so not your home country, so to say. And you saw that uh, the, in the Q&A they also said that the film traveled a lot. Um, what audience reactions have you moved the most so far? And what do you think there are the key aspects to create empathy and understanding for the stories of trans people? I haven't seen so many audiences yet. I've been on two screenings, I think. But I think... Um, it feels important to, I think what was important in this project was to give three different perspectives, like three different trans women. We're mm -hmm. quite different, all of us in the film. And um, I think it was important to be honest and to not uh, hide anything. And I know a lot of people that saw many trans films before said that they sort of learned something new. I, I don't know what yet really, but I think, I, I hope it's somehow wind, widened their knowledge about trans lives. Yeah, I definitely feel so as well. I mm. think me personally, I learned a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, maybe when you're talking about learning something new, maybe about trans people or also the LGBTQ community in general. Where do you see LGBTQ issues in the film industry today? And are there any developments or trends that you are particularly hopeful or critical of in the future? Oh gosh, I don't know really. I think it's important that stories are told by trans women, with trans women. Uh, there's so many stories that hasn't uh, yet really been and trans women hasn't really been so much allowed to come forward and do to have the possibility to direct their films and but i think i see more and more of that which is amazing very important are you planning any further projects on similar topics or what would you like to achieve or impact in your future work maybe yeah, I actually do have an idea for a trilogy that's mm -hmm. surrounding my transition. So this is the first part. Mm -hmm. And the next uh, film is about a very crazy hitchhike road trip that I made mm -hmm. when I just started on hormones. And it's sort of a sexual liberation, euphoric uh, journey. So m much more the euphoria and not so... Of course, it ha was dark moments there as well, but very much the joy and happiness mm. of being trans because it's also amazing to be trans. You experience so much very special things that maybe you wouldn't uh, have if you were not in this situation, I think. So, so very um, interesting and also sounds very motivating. Like you said in the Q&A, um, it broadens your horizons and you get to know people that you didn't know before and this community opens up so many places and and um, relations 
Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs>